What's going on everybody? Top 10 Pokemon back. And today, folks, we will be touching on a bit of a sensitive topic in this hobby. We'll be reviewing the top 10 worst Pokemon card sets of all time. Now, in preparation for this video, I not only researched each and every single Pokemon card set uh, to determine which of these are the worst, but I also consulted you via polling on my channel and I also looked at various forums where they discussed the worst sets of all time as well. So I used all this information I gathered to come up with this top 10 list. And of course there will be people that disagree with it because it is at the end of the day, a subjective list. Unlike what we usually do, we usually look at numbers and market prices and all that. So this is a different style video, but I appreciate you tuning in and giving this video a like and being a subscriber to this channel. And if you feel up to it, you could please click that eBay affiliate link down below to support the channel as well. It helps me out tremendously. If you go to buy anything on eBay, click that link. I appreciate it. So we'll be counting down the top 10 worst sets of all time. And I will give you my opinion on why I think they are considered the worst sets. Let's get started off with the number 10 worst Pokemon card set of all time. And it actually came to a tie. Uh, I, I was crossed between three different sets. So I put them all in the number 10 spot. And this will be the only time I do this in today's list. It is the Sun and Moon base set, the Sword and Shield base set, and Scarlet and Violet base set. Each of these sets are very lackluster, considering they are the very first sets of each series. I feel like they should have some kind of whammy to them to get the ball rolling, but each of them pretty much fall flat for the most part. In Sun and Moon base, uh, you do have uh, evolutions like Umbreon and Espeon and Sword and Shield. You got like a Snorlax VMAX, which is a very awesome card. And Scarlet and Violet Base, you pretty much have that full art Miriam. So there are a couple of cards in each of these sets, but for the most part, people really aren't, you know, grading the cards in this in these sets. And they're just they're just very underwhelming. So I put them all at the number 10 spot on our list. The number nine worst set of all time would have to go to the set Battle Styles, uh, a set that was very heavy on a Pokemon that nobody really asked for, Urshifu. You got the Urshifu Vs and Vmaxes out the wazoo. What kept this set from going even lower or higher on the list, however you want to look at it, was the fact that it included the amazing Alt Art Sleepy Tyranitar, which is an amazing card. If it wasn't for that card, this would be in the top three worst sets of all time. So yeah. I voted Battle Styles as the number nine worst Pokemon card set of all time. The number eight worst set of all time would have to go to Darkness Ablaze. This is a prime example that just because you put a Charizard in a set doesn't mean it's going to be a Grand Slam. Because after you go through the Charizard V and the Charizard V Max from this set, there's not really much else it offers. It's a, uh, it's a pretty meh set to say the least. Without the Charizard it would be absolutely nothing, which is why it is the number eight worst set of all time. Now for this next spot we're going fairly vintage. The number seven worst set of all time I think would have to be base set two. And I'm gonna get a lot of hate for saying that, but hear me out. So back in January of 1999 the English base set was released and then it was hardly a year later we already got a reprint in base 2. And what makes this a particularly bad set is not that they reprinted it but they did pretty much nothing to improve upon base set. They took a handful of jungle cards added it to the base set cards and then kind of did a, a different holofoil pattern on the hollows and that was pretty much it. I mean, it was very, very lazy, very unnecessary uh, compared to a set like Legendary Collection where they took cards from not only base set, but Jungle and Fossil and Team Rocket and they they innovated by putting the very first reverse hollow cards and they were the only cards that were, had the firework patterns and it was just a much better set than base two. Uh, so yeah, that's why I believe Base 2 is one of the worst sets ever made. The number six worst set of all time I would have to give to Pokemon Go. Uh, the greatest sin of Pokemon Go is the fact that you have big name Pokemon like Blastoise, Venusaur, Charizard, Dragonite, and Mewtwo, 
and the set still comes out very, eh. The idea of radiant cards, even if they're Charizard, Blastoise, and Venusaur, just did not bode well with the community. Uh, yeah, it's just, it's a set that fell flat and it had all the Pokemon to make it a great set. So yeah, Pokemon Go might have to be the number six worst set of all time. Coming at number five, I think we can all agree that Crimson Invasion is one of the worst Pokemon card sets of all time. So back when Sun and Moon started, it was pretty lacking. You had the base set, you had Guardians Rising, and then it started picking up with uh, Burning Shadows. And then after that, we had Shining Legends, which is an amazing set. And then after that, <laughs> Crimson Invasion. I couldn't even tell you hardly any of the Pokemon that were featured in Crimson Invasion. All I can remember is it had a Gyarados and it had a Pokemon named Buzzwole, which is hilarious. And they kind of introduced the Ultra Beast aspect of the TCG. But yeah, for the most part, people did not uh, mesh well with Crimson Invasion, including myself. It was a very not so collectible set in my opinion, uh, which is why it's the number five worst on our list today. The number four worst set ever would have to be the Detective Pikachu set. A small and not so mighty set. This, of course, came out at the time of the Detective Pikachu movie, and the cards are very uninspired. Everything about it is just bad. I never see Detective Pikachu cards or product come by, ever. Uh, so yeah, it was a very, 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 very underwhelming small set and the number four worst of all time. Getting down to the final three, here's where it gets very interesting. The third worst Pokemon card set of all time, Steam Siege. Now, in recent times, it's become, or people are trying to make it cool to like Steam Siege, but it still sucks. It, it still blows. Because the headlining Pokemon in this set are Steelix, Volcanion, and Gardevoir, and that's it. And some of the Guard of War cards are semi-decent in this set, but for the most part, it was, I mean, by, by far the worst set of the XY era. And uh, I believe it's the number three worst in the entire Pokemon TCG. What do you think? The number two worst Pokemon card set I am going to give to Sword and Shield Rebel Clash. When I got back into buying sealed product and opening up booster boxes, I, I opened up a ton of Ultra Prism. I took a hiatus from opening booster boxes. Then I came back during Rebel Clash. And boy, was that a mistake. I opened up a box of Rebel Clash on this channel with my daughter, and it was the worst booster box opening experience I've ever had. I will never get that money back <laughs> that I invested into that box, or the time for that matter. And yeah, it, it, there's just nothing in this set. There's nothing in Rebel Clash. So I would have to say Rebel Trash is the second worst Pokemon card set ever made. No honorable mentions today, folks. We are getting right to the number one worst set of all time. It would have to be Black and White Emerging Powers. Now, to those of you who are new to this hobby, or maybe you got in just in the past few years and you're not familiar with the Black and White era, Emerging Powers is by far the worst set ever made. If you take a little view of the cards in this set, you will find absolutely nothing. And the two chase cards, if you can call them that, the two chase cards in this set are a couple of cloud genies that nobody cares about. Like, they're full art, it's a full art, Thunderous and Tornadus. That's the highlight of this set. That's it. Which is interesting because I put out a recent poll of uh, I think it was which of these four sets is the worst. It had Emerging Powers, Crimson Invasion, Steam Siege, and Base 2. And Emerging Powers was the least voted, which, I mean, that shows me that the community isn't familiar with Emerging Powers and just how awful it is. Emerging Powers, the number one worst Pokemon card set of all time. Do you agree? I think you should. That's all I got today, folks. Let me know what your top 10 worst Pokemon card sets of all time are. I look forward to hearing from you in the comments section. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in, folks. Don't dislike this video too much. It's just uh, a matter of opinion. So thanks again for watching, and I'll catch you all in my next one.